So RVing with the Maracas, Rhonda and Joe yep. has just made a big commitment to a better ride in our RV. So here is the rear anti-sway bar and mounting kit that we're about to install. Mm -hmm. Then right over here. The front sway bar. Front anti-sway bar. Oh, anti-sway bar and the safety plus steering stabilizer so having looked underneath our 2018 thor axis 27.7 on an e450 chassis we do have a steering stabilizer but it's certainly not as stout as that and we have anti-sway bars but they're nowhere near as heavy duty as these from the internet youtube we've decided that you get a much smoother ride once you've done these things that's what many people say, so we're hoping. So uh, we invested a thousand dollars in doing mm -hmm. it. We've already done a wheel alignment on the front and that has really helped in our driving. It tightened up the steering wheel. There was like a dead spot where you had to move the steering wheel an inch or two in either direction before it actually seemed to do anything. So that cleared that up, but still when you go by big trucks, you get this bouncy when big trucks go by you. Seems like you sway to the right. Yeah, really. you get some bounce. Mm -hmm. And even making turns, you can get some scary feelings mm -hmm. on a sharp turn or going on a bumps. So we're hoping this works out. This is the existing sway bar right here. Follow it around. And doesn't look like it's going to be too hard to get apart. This bracket right here, bolt on either side of it, and the same on that side. That's, there we go, right there. And then that on either side. So there's just a bolt up here. We got the old one in the front there, further away. And we got the new one right there you can tell the big one and the smaller one the actual work taking it apart was pretty easy but i needed metric sockets so other than that you know it's just a little tight crawling underneath but nothing hard <laughs> yet <laughs> It took me most of two afternoons to get everything installed and then some time for adjusting and road testing. Here you can see the difference between the front Hellwig stabilizer bar and the original equipment. It's almost twice as big in diameter. That's the Safety Plus steering stabilizer versus the factory equipment Ford one. So obviously there's quite a bit of difference in there. Hopefully it gives us a much better ride. All right, that's the Safety Plus we installed. We have the silver model. And this is the driver's side. So this mounting bracket mounted underneath the mounting brackets for the anti-sway bar. So we installed them both at the same time. We put in a new anti-sway bar. And then that other bracket there is attaches to the steering and so when you turn the wheel that goes in or out and it's set at that location where the safety plus is at a neutral so that will keep you going straight if you turn the wheel it pulls out or pushes in and it wants to go back to its neutral spot this is the other end of the anti-sway bar. So you have to, there's a bolt on the other side of that U and those, that dog bone thing. Yeah, I took it totally off at the bottom where it's attached to the frame so that you could do the anti-sway bar. And there's the same thing on this side. This was relatively easy. 
stupid didn't kick in too hard on this one like it did on the back one we took it out yesterday to t for a test drive and to adjust the safety plus that's part of your installation process you want to make sure that the steering wheel is basically straight up and down while you're going straight it handles really well um, but I think overall we were happy that we did this job it's um, you know really a thousand dollars in two anti sway bars and the safety plus and then all of the labor that went into it it's probably five or six hours of actual work okay these are the parts we replaced that is the back anti sway bar the sort of steering stabilizer and the front anti sway bar we purchased the Helwig front and rear stabilizer bars and the Safety Plus steering stabilizer on Amazon after confirming with both companies that I had identified the correct products for our RV. They all come with reasonable installation instructions. Just be sure to actually read them before and during installation. Just looking at the pictures may not be enough. The Helwig rear stabilizer bar is heavy so you may need a second person to help get it in place. And it may be a tight fit underneath your RV. The front's much easier to watch. Just be careful and go slow. Overall, I think if you are comfortable with using basic hand tools and reading instructions and have the right tools, you can do this yourself. Our Ford chassis bolts are all metric, and you'll need some strength and the right tools to torque the bolts on and off. I would suggest getting an estimate for parts and labor from your favorite RV service center to judge for yourself before you DIY. If you're near Atlanta, Safety Plus will install their product with no labor charges. Since the install, we've driven our RV about 75 miles, mostly on interstates, and can say that we're very happy with the results. It has a much more solid feel to it, much smoother, no more bouncing around when big trucks pass. And the steering is so much better with no more oversteering to stay straight on the road. I think our next trip will be much less fatiguing.